There's a growing interest not just in Brazil but around the world in the sport of football. And for more on that, I'm joined live from Sao Paulo by Chris Vokes. He's the international football correspondent for the website Goal. Christopher, thanks for joining us. You know, you're based in London where the sport has been popular for years. Here in the United States, Americans tend to view baseball and American football as more popular. But in school, more children actually play football or soccer than those two sports. So do you think football is on the rise, the popularity of it is on the rise? I'd say so. Um, even if you look at some of the figures across the U.S., um, I think there's a, a great deal of, of uh, schools now and, and children outside of schools who are participating in, in soccer in a way like never before. And obviously it's the world game outside of, of the U.S., as you said. And, and I think that that is spreading time, time after time. You're seeing um, star players from across the world uh, come over to the MLS and, and really sell the sport to, to America. I think it will take some time before it even comes close to rivaling the likes of baseball and, and American football, as you say. But, um, but soccer is on the rise, I'd say. In China, football is also one of the most popular spectator sports. Matches in the Chinese Super League, as it's called, draw crowds in the tens of thousands. The league's annual revenue, about $33 million. What sorts of people are traveling to Brazil to see the World Cup in person? Do they tend to be from certain regions of the world? It's pretty much from everywhere. Um, just walking across from the stadium to speak to you now, I, I've seen people from dozens and dozens of countries um, just taking in the atmosphere. They're, they're taking photos of the stadium, of any coach that goes by, just in case it's a, a random national team. And, and they're really just soaking up the atmosphere. There's, um, there's been a great deal of kind of Colombians and Costa Ricans and, and Chinese, as you mentioned. And the media comes from all over the world as well. It's just such a popular event that it's joined people from all over the globe. And talk about the sport itself. You know, you have years of experience covering the game. We haven't seen a home team win the World Cup since France did in 1998. What are Brazil's chances to win the World Cup this year? I think they're very good chances, to be fair. Um, they, they always hark back to 1950 over here, the fact that the last time that Brazil hosted the World Cup, they were beaten in the final game against Uruguay, which meant that, well, they were public outcasts, really, the, the players then. They were expected to win it. This time, they're not expected quite so much, but after the success last year in the Confederations Cup here in Brazil, when the whole nation got behind the side and, and there was a real togetherness of spirit about the players and the spectators, there's a, a great deal of um, movement behind the, the team now, and, and a lot of people are thinking that this could be their time. All right, Chris Vokes, uh, international football correspondent for Goal. Thank you for joining us live from Sao Paulo.